Hi everybody! This is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Happy Sunday! We're here with another craft along tonight. Um, so just give me a hot second. I'm going to share this on my personal page so we can get this going. Sprinkle the love so we can get the crafting love out there. So sprinkle when you sprinkle when you when you want to share um, if you do. And make sure when you're hopping on that you say hello. Let's share this on my personal page. How's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. And hey, bonus weekend day tomorrow, right? That's the best. Hi, Laura. How are you? How you doing? Say hey when you're hopping on, everybody. All right, I'm going to share this now. All right, and then let's watch along so we can see comments and we will shut off the sound. All right. So again, hey everybody. Ah, stop it. <laughs> Happy Sunday, Miss Amazing. You are funny, Laura. You are Miss Amazing. Laura is a teacher and she's going back to school and she's doing wonderful things. Um, and I wish I could be as amazing as her. So thank you, Laura. All right. So we're going to get going um, as more people hop on. So tonight, guys, we are doing something I saw on um, one of the crafting pages that I um, love to look at. It's called Creating Through Chaos. Um, and just, she has got some great ideas. Um, and so she did this um, all painting project this past, I think it was this past week. I saw the video this past week. I'm not sure if that's exactly when she actually did it. Um, but it's all painting. There's, we're not going to put bows or hot glue or anything. I'll be tempted though. You're going to have to stop me. Um, but that is the goal tonight is just to do Painting and painting only. It's all going to be freehand, no stencils, no cutouts, nothing. Um, so just to kind of show that anybody can do this, anybody can make their own home decor. Um, I'm happy to do it for you. So if there's anything you ever want, you let me know. Um, but if you want to do it yourself, you totally can. And so I have never done this particular project before. Um, I just saw it last week, so I'm going to be doing it live with you. <laughs> um, and so we'll see if it truly is for anyone, but I'm sure that we can, we can get through this together. So I am starting with a piece of, I think real crafting people would call this, um, pallet wood, I guess, cause it technically is the size that you would have on a pallet. This is just scrap wood that we have left over from a project, um, a home rental project. Oh, and it's still a little, I sanded it outside so that way I wouldn't make a mess. I learned that one the hard way. Um, but I sanded it outside. Um, and so we can get all the, the edges gone. So like I said, this is just left over from a home rental project. Um, so it was pretty like, it was pretty rough. Um, so I just kind of had to take off some of the splintery pieces. Um, and this is going to be the basis for our fall harvest kind of pumpkin scene um, that we're going to paint on this. Um, so tonight, just to go through materials with you, because again, it's super simple. We're only doing painting and painting alone. Um, so, oh, mom and I just started mass. I need to time this better. No, I'm sorry. Mass is at eight. Wow, that is late for mass. Good for you. Um, oh, I can't wait to see you again, Laura. Um, but so for materials tonight, we are just going to use, um, again, this piece of pallet wood. I don't even know how tall this is, but I don't know. It, I, it, I don't think it's a full two feet. Um, but, and I would say it's about five, it's uh, two by, is this, is this one by four? This might be a one by four in terms of one by four. I think I have a ruler I could grab, but anyway, um, make sure you're saying, Hey everybody, when you're hopping on so that way we can see who's watching. Um, so just send a, send a little hello and make sure you sprinkle this. Um, that means S H A R E sprinkle this. Um, if you want to, uh, spread the love, spread the crafting love. So we're going to use this one by four. That's, I don't know, maybe 20 inches, 18 inches long. Um, any piece of scrap wood will do. Um, we're, cause we're going to paint the whole thing. Um, I it's technically supposed to paint the back too. I'll do that later though. You don't need to watch me paint the entire thing. Um, and we're also going to use um, a heat gun, my Harbor Freight heat gun um, for drying to do it quicker. Um, I am using all Apple Barrel paints again um, from, hi Bethany, um, thanks for hopping on. Um, all Apple Barrel from Walmart, 50 cents a piece, super cheap. Actually, I have one deco art. That's the one that we used for wedding decorations back last year. Still have some of that left over because I think we ended up using spray paint, so we have a lot of that. Um, and so I have black, brown. I'll tell you the exact colors when I use them. Black, brown, 
um, yellow green in two different greens because of course I'm continuing to do fall projects and I haven't bought orange paint yet so we're gonna continue to mix our own orange which is okay um, but we're gonna need a lot of it so we're gonna have to mix a lot of it and that's okay I've got my mason jar with my water I've got my bucket of uh, pencils here a pen yeah right my gosh my bucket of paint brushes um, and then I've just got a plate to put all of our paint on and I think we're just gonna get going oh and the other thing I have is a piece of chalk um, the woman from Creating Through Chaos recommended a chalk pencil, um, but I don't have a chalk pencil. Excuse me. I think you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, you could use a chalk pen too. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, that anything that would come off of paint with water or whatever. Um, so, but so I'm just going to use a regular piece of chalk and hope that it works out well. So we're going to give this a whirl. Hey everybody! Make sure you're saying hey when you're hopping on, so we can say hello. We can chat throughout our crafting here. All right, so let's get going. We're gonna start with the Apple Barrow Jet Black. Um, and I'm gonna use my chip brush for this because it's kind of a big board. Um, a chip brush, I just get these, they're a little dirty, but um, they come through to a pack at the Dollar Tree. So super simple. Um, and actually, I think for this, I am literally just gonna pour the paint right on um, and just get to painting. Alrighty, so how was everybody's weekend? Let me know. Make sure you're saying hey when you're hopping on so we know who's here. I'm just going to paint this entire thing black. This will be the backdrop um, for our fall harvest feet, um, scene, if you will. I haven't decided yet. So in the Creating Through Chaos post about this project, she, um, she wrote fall harvest on it. Um, and... I wasn't sure if I wanted to do Fall Harvest or Happy Fall. I don't know. I might do Fall Harvest because you'll kind of see it has um, a little moon on it and it has, she did a star. I'm not sure I want to do the star. I'm just trying to get in some of these notches because again, guys, I'm just using a piece of scrap wood from a home rental project. So um, this is not a perfect piece of wood. It does not need to be a perfect piece of wood. Um, it doesn't need, I mean, I'm only going to do one coat here. I'm definitely not going to go crazy. Um, I am going to do all the sides. Um, I'm, well, let me rephrase. I am going to put a little bit of this on here because I want to do um, some of the sides in a bit more of a controlled way. Um, I am going to do the sides um, and the top and bottom, but I'm not going to do the underneath. I'm not going to worry about that. I will do that another time when I'm not taking up your time. Um, so again, make sure you're saying hey when you're hopping on, everybody. We are doing a painting and painting only tonight. We are not doing ribbon or Mod Podge or scrapbook paper or any of those fun things that I really love doing all the time. Um, tonight is painting only. Minimal uh, materials. Simple, simple. Um, just to show that anybody can do this. And again, I have never done this project before, so I'm doing it live with you for the first time. Um, I am not an artist by any means. I am not good at painting freehand things. Um, I can't do my own, like, calligraphy. I can't do any of that stuff. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. And hopefully it comes out cute and it's something that maybe one of you wants in your home. Uh, and you can, you can get this. Or it's something I want in my home. Or maybe my mom will take it because my mom always loves this stuff, which I love. Um, and the fam. The fam's always so supportive which I absolutely love. Um, so speaking of mom, I don't think, I don't think Renee's joining us again tonight. They, um, they were camping and, um, and we, we went down to camp with them for a couple of nights over the course of when they were there. Um, so she's doing laundry and all that fun stuff. I'm going to try to, I'm going to dry this just to get it done so that I can flip it without getting black paint all over me. But yeah, so mom is doing lots of things since they're back from camping. Um, so I don't think I don't think she'll be joining us tonight, even though she's always so much fun. The best part is though she joins from my dad's Facebook page because my mother doesn't have one. Um, so she comes on. So Jim comes on, and Lord knows my father is not watching me craft. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, uh, Bob's watching a scary movie again, just like last time. Hi, Christine. I hope all is well. Thanks for hopping on. Make sure we're saying hey when everybody hops on. Um, right now, I am just using, for those of you hopping on right now, it might look kind of weird. Um, we are using our heat gun, our Warrior heat gun from Harbor Freight. 
and we are just drying our coat of black paint on this one by four piece of scrap wood that we're gonna turn into a beautiful fall harvest scene. Hopefully beautiful, right? We're in this together, guys. Um, again, sprinkle the love, sprinkle this video, get it out there so we can spread the love. And make sure that you are saying hey when you hop on. All right, we're going to do this last side here. And then we're going to get to doing the freehand part. And we're going to have to see how it goes. We're in, we're, again, we're all in this together, right guys? A little high school musical right there. Um, so I'm just finishing painting up this side. So yeah, so we went down. Um, we were camping. Slept in a tent and everything. And oh my gosh. So my parents have a tent that we use which we have a tent too which is bigger than the one my parents have so we should probably use that tent but we always forget to bring it so my dad who was awesome he sets up the tent before we're even there um and they have an air mattress and i kid you not the only thing in this tent the only thing that fits is the air mattress um you like you just you open the the door the flap whatever and then air mattress it's right there um, and this air mattress is tall, 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 tall. It's like tall as this, tall as this piece of wood. Um, and oh my God, it is just so funny. You can't fit anything else in there. And you know what? It's not the most uncomfortable thing in the world. I have to say we make do. Um, oh, and this morning though. So we were there this we were overnight last night. And, um, this morning, I don't know, it was like quarter six and we get up and <laughs> there is some guy. So it's a campground, right? Um, and you have campfires at night, obviously, and, um, but campfires at night. And it's not the kind of campground, I mean, there are campers, right? Campers with air conditioning and sewer hookup and water and electric and it's, it's glamping, right? And I mean, we sleep in a tent, but there's a camper next to us. Um, so we have a shower and all that kind of stuff. And again, air conditioning. Um, so we get up at like, I don't know, it was like quarter of six, I think. And, um... This guy has got like a bonfire going, a, like a literal bonfire going at quarter of six in the morning. And I'm just thinking to myself, bacon and eggs do not require that big of a flame. Oh my gosh. And meanwhile, he's got this huge camper. I mean, huge, like fifth wheel camper next to him. That, I mean, that, that's his. And I'm like, okay, someone just likes fire. Um, but oh, that was really, really funny. All right. So, I mean, I hope it was funny to me at least. All right. So we have got our piece of wood here, a piece of plank, pallet, whatever wood you want to use. We have got it done. It is dry. Um, and now we're going to sketch out what we're going to draw. Um, so again, say hey when you're hopping on. I love when we go back and forth and chat. Um, and all right, here we go. So what we're going to draw, at least this is what the Creating Through Chaos woman did, and it was really cool. We're going to make the bottom half of this a pumpkin. And then we're going to do a little like fall harvest thing up here. And I think I'm just going to stick with a moon. Um, she did a, a pumpkin, then fall harvest, and a moon and a star. I, I don't want to, I don't trust myself with a star. Um, so we're going to start with, we're going to make the majority of this a pumpkin. So I'm using a piece of chalk. Um, a chalk pencil or a chalk pen would probably be even better because it um, has a better point, especially when I'm about to do letters. But hey, we'll make it work, right? Oh, I'm gonna need white paint. We'll get that in a second. We'll get that in a second. Thought I got all my colors. I mean, it was really funny. At the beginning, I pulled out black, red, and, and yellow, and that was it. And I'm like, gee, I forgot like six other colors. No, um, but anyway, so this whole bottom is gonna be a pumpkin. So we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do like a little freehand. Oh, geez, here we go. Little freehand pumpkin kind of top here. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then we're gonna do a little stem. So that'll be the pumpkin. I don't know if you can see this. So um, from here down will be the pumpkin and that'll be its stem. It's so weird how this is backwards. Um, and I'm gonna paint some vines on it, but we'll do that freehand with a paintbrush later. And then I wanna do a big moon in the corner here. Circles and me. Oh. So the good thing about this is we just, right? trying to think of how big I want to make this. I don't know. Okay, let's write fall harvest first. So I'm going to do like, I'm going to do fall harvest right here. So I'm just going to, I'm literally just going to spell it out. And again, guys, this does not have to be perfect. Harvest is going to have to be a little bit smaller. 
and again this is where um, this is where having a chalk pen would be helpful but at the same time um, I made it a little bit too big uh, I'm gonna go for more of an angle so I can fit it but at the same time I'm just gonna paint over this a little um, the chalk that I have is fine because we can just erase it and start again so um, so how was everybody else's weekend so yeah we were down the campground um, had a great time I'm just drying this paint that I just painted over it I love this heat gun it's fantastic um, and um, bonus day off tomorrow which we always love happy Labor Day weekend to everybody um, I hope everybody's enjoying so all right let's try this again with the harvest H A R B E S T all right, what do we think? Good enough? I think it's good enough. All right. Um, I think fall's a little large, but that's okay. All right, and now I'm just going to put a big old moon right in the corner there. All right. And that's all we're doing, guys. We're just going to keep this simple, and we're going to paint. I'm actually, I'm wondering if my fall should be a little bit smaller. My A is, like, in your face. Um, all right, so... I'm going to do my chip brush into my, into my mason jar. All right. Does anybody have plans for Labor Day tomorrow? Well, socially distanced plans, right? Um, and by the way, the campground was completely socially distant. Um, we followed all the rules and regulations, I do promise. So please don't worry about that. Um, so in this morning, so I'm going to mix some orange paint while I tell you. So this morning we went to... Um, at the campground they always have a farmer's market um and i don't know maybe there's like may i are there 20 vendors i'm not even sure if there's that many vendors um but it's really nice and it's it's open to the public so it's at the top of the campground right on the road so people just driving by who live down there can obviously go um but people who are at the campground, I mean, I've been going to this campground since I was a little kid, so we go every year. Um, bummer, though, they don't have kettle corn anymore. That was, like, the fave. Um, and for obvious reasons, right? You know, they have to stick their hand in to grab the kettle corn and all that. But anyway, so we went to the farmer's market this morning. I'm hoping this will be enough paint here. Um, we went to the farmer's market this morning. I'm just going to use a small brush um, to just line this. And um, I'm going to go right over my chalk. This orange is fantastic. Like, this is pumpkin orange. Total by chance. I used the Deco Art Red, Cherry Red, and the, um, my favorite Apple Barrel King's Gold for this. Um, so I'm just lining this. So this morning we went to the um, Farmer's Market. And we got all sorts of delicious goodies. One of the, so I believe it was called um, Marishka's. Like that actress from Law and Order, right? Um, I think it was Marishka's Baked Goods or Bakery or something like that. I forget exactly what it was. Um, but we got this tiny little apple pie, which was delish. We had it. We're using Mrs. T's brush, right, Mrs. T? Um and we got um, some fudge from them. I am not gonna paint the sides. I'm gonna keep those black. Um, we got fudge from them. We got a little mini apple pie. And we had that after dinner tonight, delish. Um, we usually go with a keto diet, but you know, it's summer and you wanna have some treats and you wanna support local. So, you know, of course, doing our part, grabbing an apple pie and some fudge. Um, and I'm not worrying about full coverage here, guys, because I think it'll be a little rustic looking if we have some black showing through. Um, and then from this other gentleman, if at, he was out of Cranston. Um, and of course, the name of it is escaping me. But he um, and his team make a lot of Greek specialty things. So we got this dill hummus that was just to die for. Um, and we also got these kale and sweet potato meatball things. 
don't know, there was no meat. It was just kale and sweet potato and what I think was maybe some black bean holding it together as well. Absolutely delicious. So we had a little bit of a smorgasbord, as my mom would say, for dinner tonight. Um, so make sure you're saying hey when you hop on. Hey everybody, thanks for watching tonight. Um, for those of you just hopping on, my name is Bethany and I'm from Count Your Stitches. And tonight we are doing a painting and painting only project. There is no ribbon, no raffia, no hot glue, no Mod Podge, no scrapbook paper, nothing. We are just painting. Um, again, I'm not worrying about full coverage on this pumpkin that we're painting here um, onto our little palette board. I just wanted a little bit darker of a yellow, I mean of an orange color. Um, but I, I'm letting the black shine through because it just gives it a more of a rustic look. Um, and I think it looks really, really nice. So we are doing, this is an idea that I got from a, um, another crafter creating through chaos. Um, so we're just painting, this is a leftover piece of pallet wood, nothing fancy. Um, and we are making a little fall harvest theme here. So I just want a little bit more up here. Again, I just want a little bit more orange. I really like this orange. It came out nice. Um, so anyway, yeah, so that's what we're making tonight. Um, but yes, yeah, so we went to the farmer's market this morning and that was really fun. Um, got some great goodies and we helped my parents kind of pack up the camper and then we all headed home and we, you know, did usual house things that you need to do on the weekends. Um, anybody else feel like, you know, you can't wait for the weekend to come and then all you do is spend your weekend doing work and it's not a break, <laughs> but yeah, and you spend your whole weekend doing work and then you feel like you didn't do anything. <laughs> um... I guess so is adulthood, right guys? <laughs> um, make sure you're saying hey when you're hopping on. Comment below, say hey when you're coming on. Well, you don't have to comment if you don't want to. I was reading something about that with Facebook. Um, but if you'd like to comment hey when you come on, on, that would be wonderful so we can know who's here. And, oh. Hi Julianne, thanks for hopping on. Thanks for watching. So I'm just painting this pumpkin. We did it freehand. So we started with the piece of pallet wood. Um, I even put the fan on tonight, guys, and I'm still sweating like I do every week with this. Um, so, oh, geez, I just wiped my eye with a finger that had black paint on it. Hopefully that isn't on my eye. Um, so this is just a piece, a piece of pallet wood um, just left over from a project, and we painted it black. And then I just kind of freehanded a little bump for the, um, the top of the pumpkin. And I'm just going to dry this right now so that way it's done. Um, and we don't have to worry about while we're painting the rest our arm getting all orange. Um, and again, this is all freehand, guys, so we're not using stencils, we're not using um, wood cutouts or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so say hey when you're hopping on so we know who's here. We can chat along. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm thinking that Sunday night could be my new thing. Um, I kind of think this is a nice way to begin my week, end your weekend, and, and begin the new week. Um, I adore crafting. I wish that I could do it full time. Uh, my husband, <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> Maybe one day, right? That's the dream, right? That's just, yeah. Anyway, so, um, so I kind of like the idea of ending my weekend and doing a nice, you know, Sunday night wind down, craft along with you guys. So every Sunday night, just be ready, turn those notifications on to, you know, for when Count Your, Stitch goes, Count Your Stitches goes live um, and we can craft along together every Sunday night or hopefully every Sunday night. We'll see, right? Um, but say hey when you're hopping on. Um, so this is our orange. I kind of really like it. It's a little bit darker, um, but I, I'm kind of like really, really loving it. So, all right, we're gonna put the orange paintbrushes that we, paintbrushes we use for orange in our water. I'm going to shut the, we don't need the art deck, we don't need the um, deco art red anymore. We will need the king's gold again. But right now I am going to do the um, apple barrel chocolate brown and we're going to do the stem. Um, just a tiny dab. We're not going to need a lot. And then after that I'm going to do a little bit of a, um, a little vine with it. Um, so I'm going to use a smaller brush for this since it's a little bit of a smaller area. Again, uh, make sure you say hey when you're hopping on. Thanks for watching. My name is Bethany. This is Count Your Stitches. We're doing a little bit of a paint craft along tonight. Um, we might need to add some black to this. I don't know. We'll have to see um, to make it darker. So we're doing a little paint along. No um, previous experience required and no artistic ability required because I am not an artist by any stretch. 
Um, that is not my thing. I am not good at freehanding. I am not good at letters. I'm not, I don't even like my handwriting. I probably should have been a doctor. My handwriting is atrocious. Um, shout out to all the doctors out there. You're wonderful though. Don't worry. Um, so I'm just filling in my stem with some chocolate brown from Apple Barrel Paint. I get it at Walmart. It's only 50 cents per little bottle. Um, and you can actually get a set of kind of like 10 essential colors for uh, $4.97. So I, I started with that when I kind of first decided that I wanted to do some crafting for fun. So if you don't know, the way this whole thing started with me is um, I crochet and um, my mom taught me how to crochet when I was little and I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> Um, everything was crooked and, and it was, it was rough. It was, it was rough. Um, but then when I was in college, I wanted to get a little bit more into it. Oh, I just kind of messed that up. That's okay. Um, when I was in college, I wanted to get a little bit more back into it. So I'm just going to dry this and maybe take another coat to it. But, um, so I used a lot of YouTube videos to learn how to make other things. Um, like instead of just maybe scarves and things like that. I started doing, um, I'm just gonna do one more coat on this brown. Um, I started doing hats, and then I started learning how to make stuffed animals, and that's really what I love making now. I love making stuffed animals. Um, I like making uh, gifts like that. Um, I get a lot of orders for different stuffed animals. The elephant is my most popular, um, but I get I do get a lot. Uh, I make So I make all sorts of things. Um, and I have always loved crafting. When I used to work at a summer camp, um, I, I did like tons of arts and crafts every day with the kids. It's one of my favorite things. Um, so I was like, you know what? And it's, you know, taking over, right? Social media, all these DIY this, make your own that. Um, and I just absolutely loved it. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna get into this. Um, and so I just kind of went to Walmart and bought and Dollar Tree and bought a whole bunch of just stuff to start. And now I have an entire craft wall over here um, in our office. <laughs> so, you know, working from home, you know, most days, and then in this office, two people, and then also having an entire craft wall, I kind of take up the whole place. Uh, <laughs> oops. Um, but it's all good. I have a wonderful husband who's very supportive, so I'm very blessed for that. Um, so I am going to use a small pen, a small brush but yeah, so that's kind of how I got started with all of this. Um, I'm going to use a small brush and I'm going to use Christmas green. And so today, speaking of Christmas, I, um, I'm not going to use a lot of this here. Today I noticed, I got an email. Um, I get emails from Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Michael's and all of them, right? Um, and I noticed that they were having a fantastic Labor Day sale. Um, and since I have my little Cricut Joy now, which I love, um, and of course, you know, you get one thing and then you want the better thing. So I want the Cricut maker so bad it hurts, but I'm not spending that money. Not right now, unless I can make some type of lucrative thing out of this. Um, I can't justify the <laughs> spending that money. Um, those of you who have it, I'm so jealous. Um, but so now that I have the Cricut Joy and I can cut all sorts of things, um, Joanne Fabrics had 10 for $2 on their scrapbook paper. And I was like, I'm in. Um, so I bought... I think 40 different sheets of um, of scrapbook paper. So I bought like about 10 fall Halloween kind, about 10 Christmas. That's what made me think of that. We're using Christmas green. Um, and then I bought, oh, and then I bought some um, for a birthday poster, uh, which I'm excited about. I'm not gonna say, cause it's a surprise. So I don't want um, anybody to, to find out about who whose birthday. Um, but I bought some, so I'm gonna make a birthday sign, um, but I'm gonna use the Cricut so I can make like nice letters and everything. And I bought a nice big foam board or whatever. So yeah, so Joanne until tomorrow has a sale on scrapbook paper if you want it, 10 for $2, so I bought 40. Um, <laughs> Cause you know, who wouldn't? Um, oh, and I wanted to show you another thing I got there. Um, but so what I'm gonna do right now is just do a, um, a little curly Q vine. And I'm totally freehanding this and it's kind of freaking me out, but I did it. And it's not the worst thing in the world. And I'm gonna do one more over here. And okay, this didn't come out that bad. 
it actually kind of worked. And I'm going to do a little bit of highlight with it. Um, so I'm going to wipe off that dark green. And I'm going to use um, this green that we used last week. The Oh, hi, Allison. Thanks for hopping on again. It's good to see you. Um, I'm going to use this limeade like we did last week um, on our little pumpkin welcome sign. And I'm just going to use a, oop, that's a big dollop. Um, I'm going to use a tiny, tiny bit of that. And I'm just going to use it for some highlight. Um, nothing huge. It's actually a little bit more than I wanted, but that's okay. Um, yep, so we're just going to do this. But yeah, so head to Joann's if you're a scrapbooker or a cricketer and you want some um, great deals. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, dark on this because it came out a little bit a little bit more than I wanted. Um, but yeah, so head there, great sale. All their fall stuff was on sale too. I had to resist the urge to buy out the place. Um, make sure you're saying hey when you're hopping on. Oh, hi Alyssa, hi, thanks for hopping on, thanks for watching. Say hello guys, um, it's great to see a lot of you. Thanks for hopping on. Again, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing a paint along tonight. Um, we're just gonna, we're actually almost, we're almost done, guys. This is a quick one tonight. Um, and yeah, it's a nice quick one tonight. It's a easy one. And we're gonna do, um, we'll do the moon next. Now, since it's a fall harvest one, so it's a fall moon, we're gonna do king's gold for our moon instead of white. Um, and we'll use white for our letters. Um, but I'm going to use a little bit of King's Gold for the moon because it's that, again, that kind of nice harvest moon. Um, and again, I just get all these at Walmart. I love them. So I'm going to use a brush like this. Um, oh, I got the brushes at, I think I got the brushes at Walmart too. It was like a nice big pack, um, which was really nice. So yeah. So anyway, say hey when you're hopping on everybody and make sure you sprinkle this video so we can spread the love. Um, I'm just going to paint the moon. Good luck. Wish me luck because... This is painting a circle and I'm a little bit nervous. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of what else do we, so, um, yeah, so it was a, it's been a busy weekend and tomorrow's Labor Day. So we have a, you know, a, a tiny little picnic, nothing huge. It's weird, you know, going through all of these summer times and summer, you know, holiday things, um, and not being able to do, you know, the traditional big picnics and all of that but hey you know what if it keeps us all safe then then that's what we're doing um also guys as we head back to you know things opening up and whatever um i know everywhere is selling masks um but i did get some really awesome fabric for fall um so if anybody does need a mask um and you know because i can really make them a size that fits your face um i actually had someone order some the other day that um, I made them kind of what the CDC recommends as the normal size um, and it wasn't quite the right fit and I actually for me I make mine a little bit bigger um, just because I have a little a cute little chunky face um, but so this person it just it wasn't quite the right size for them so I just remade them you know and that's kind of the beauty of local guys um, and custom um, and so we just exchanged them and no problem at all because things can be washed and you know reused and it's it's really no problem So anybody if you need masks, I have a lot of fabric. I have some really cute fall stuff pumpkins leaves um, I'm just putting a couple coats on this moon here um, surprisingly the Circle came out. Okay um, But yeah, so we make masks. So if you need a mask, please let me know um, most of them are only five dollars and then I do make ones, um, like I made a bunch for my husband because it really was bothering his ears um, when he has to go to work and so and wear it all day. So, um, and as it does, I'm sure, so many people. So I make them that the elastic goes around the head from the ear to ear um, as opposed to just um, around your ears. So we have those, and those um, are usually about eight bucks. Um, and I have some Patriots fabric too because the Patriots start next week. Um, well, football starts next week. Thank God. That is how we spend our fall weekends, watching football. Um, but yeah, so if you need a mask, please do not hesitate to shoot me a message um, either on the Count Your Stitches page or if you're friends with me on Facebook, you can shoot me a message on my personal page. That's not a problem at all. Um, and I'd be happy to make you some masks. Um, 
we're all trying to stay safe, right guys? So mask it, mask it up, right? Make sure you're saying hey when you're hopping on, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for spending some of your Sunday night with me. Um, making a little fall harvest. Sorry, guys. I just really I wanted some more depth to this moon. Just wanted to be a little bit darker. I actually might go one more time with a coat. Dry this up. Um, oh, yeah. So when I was at Joanne's, I was trying to stay focused because I don't have room. We don't have any more room for any of my stuff any of my crafting stuff. Um, so I try not, I try to stay on target um, when I go to different stores and buy things. So I was just going for the scrapbook paper, right? 10 for two, Joann's. Um, but I had to look at, the, you know, the clearance stuff and the stuff that was on sale and the crafty fall stuff. Um, so I got, actually here, I'll show you because I think it's really, really cute. Um, so I got this sign that we're gonna paint, I don't know when, but it just says boo, and it's got a little spider web and a little spider hanging. Um, it was $5.99 at Joann's, um, and it was 40 or 50% off. So I was like, how can I pass this up? So this will be fun. I don't know if maybe we'll paint this. I think some glitter glue might be really cool on this. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to paint this boo. Um, and yeah, and I'll show you this in a second. It's something I made the other night that I wanted to show. Make sure you're saying hey when you're hopping on, guys. All right? We're just semi-finishing up a project here, um, a little paint project, and it's really only paint tonight. We're not using any raffia, any ribbon, nothing like that. We are just painting a board tonight, guys. Totally accessible for any level of crafter. Um, I am doing this for the first time. I've never really done this kind of freehand painting, um, and I don't think it's coming out half bad. I just wanted a little bit more yellow to our moon here. You can still see the black coming through, which I think is really fun. Um, again, it makes it nice and rustic, but I just wanted a little bit more. There we go. Just wanted a little bit more to it. All right, and now we're just gonna. I'm just gonna give me a hot second. I just gotta grab my white paint. Um, I'm gonna grab my white. And alrighty, and then we will just paint our fall harvest letters and then guys this is pretty much done um this was a this was a quick one and an easy one i am going to take a tiny little brush here i've got a little bit of black paint left and i am just going to kind of give some depth some shadow to our um our stem here i'm just going to do a little bit of a dry brush just to give it a little something on the stem nothing really huge i just did a little bit of a dry brush there just to give it some depth um all right so now actually i kind of want that like i want that one back jokes all right we're going to use this for our letters um all right so that is clean all we have left to do is to trace what we wrote out what we wrote down as fall harvest you can choose to write Anything you want. I was considering doing happy fall, um, but because I was going with a yellow moon, I kind of wanted to explain the yellow moon. So I thought so putting the fall harvest like the woman from Creating Through Chaos did would make the most sense. Um, so we're just going to finish this up. Make sure that you're saying hey when you're hopping on. Um, thanks so much for spending your Sunday night with me. And yeah, okay, here we go. So freehanding this fall. And actually at the end, um, we'll do... A little trick with these letters that the woman from creating through chaos did and um, I thought it really added kind of like the perfect pop that you needed um, and guys if some of the chalk that you use because again I used a piece of chalk not a chalk pen or um, or pencil and so because I did that the chalk line is a little wide um, you know because it didn't have a nice tip so if that happens once we're all done and this is all dry um, you can very easily just take a wet paper towel and wipe off the remaining chalk that is left behind. That is not a problem at all. All right, so we've got our fall done. It's not perfect, but who cares, right, guys? This is just fun. Make sure you're saying hey. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for hopping on. Um, your babies are beautiful. I, like, find joy in everything that you post about them, so thank you for doing that. Um... All right, so it's gonna keep tracing out harvest here. And then guys, we're pretty much done after this. Um, and again, guys, this is a totally accessible 
any level can do this of, of someone who's even just interested in crafting. Um, I am not an artist. I am not good at lettering. I hate my penmanship. Um, I don't think it's good at all. So, and I wrote this out and it's rustic and it's fine. And it just goes to show that you can make beautiful home decor. Well, that became a rounded R. That's fine. Oh, miss you too. Miss you too. Oh, that was such fun when we were together teaching. Oh my God. What good times. Thank you for continuing to do all that you do for the students in our, in our wonderful country. Teachers, you guys are amazing. I come from a family of teachers. You guys are absolutely awesome. You are rock stars for everything that you're doing, so thank you. Um, so yeah, guys, anybody can make home decor. Like I always say, I would be happy to do it for you, so let me know if you ever have anything you want me to make. But if you want to do it yourself, you can, guys. We made this tonight. It, it's, you know, it hasn't even been an hour, um, and I'm talking a lot because, you know, I talk to myself, right? <laughs> Who is surprised by that? No one. Um, but yeah, so super simple fall decor. I just made that tee way wider than it needed to be. So here we go. We are painted. What we're going to do now is add a little dot to all of the points on the letters. Um, just to give it a little bit of cute, you know, and to hide some of the imperfections. So we're just going to add a little dot to each of the points on the letters just to give it a little something, a little something decorative. Alrighty. Probably could have used like, I don't know, the tip of something, but this is working. Alrighty. And once we're done with this, guys, we're just gonna dry it, make sure we like it. And then we'll be good to go, guys. And this is a quick little fall decoration. Um, the woman uh, do I put a point at the top of the R? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, the woman on Creating Through Chaos who made this, she actually drilled holes at the top with the with the drill um, and then stuck some wire in it. And that was kind of like the hanger. I don't know if I'm supposed to put a dot here. I need to put a dot there. Um, and stuck some wire and that was kind of how it hung. I thought, because um, it's a pretty substantial piece of wood um, I figured it doesn't really need that. It kind of can just sit. Um, so I am not going to put any type of hanger on this. Again, makes it something super simple. You don't need any other supplies except for some paint and a piece of wood um, and a piece of chalk. You could probably, though, quite frankly, use a pencil. Um, and you could probably see it just fine enough. So I'm just drying up our letters here. Guys, this is totally, I mean, do I love my writing? No. Do I think this lettering came out perfect? No, but it's, guys, it's a fall decoration. It's supposed to be rustic, it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be what you want it to be. So, we are just about done. That is dry, bada bing, bada boom. Guys, we have a fall decoration. Look at that, super simple. Can you see it all? There we go, super simple. We painted a piece of pallet wood, black, that's all we did. I didn't paint the back. I'll paint the back later. Um, we freehand just drawing a quick little line for the pumpkin, drawing a quick little stem. I just took a small paintbrush and curly cued some vines on. We wrote out fall harvest in a piece of chalk and then it, and then we just made a little circle. And that's all. We got this from Creating Through Chaos. And again, when she made it on that page, she drilled two holes right here um, and then stuck some wire through and, and wound them in the front. And that was a way to hang it. Um, I am probably just going to, oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the inspiration creating through chaos. Really appreciate it. Forgive me, I don't know your name and I should know your name. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for the inspiration. Um, so yeah, guys, this was super simple, totally accessible for anybody. Um, just goes to show you can make your own projects at home. Um, you don't have to be scared. Again, I'm always happy to make something for you. Um, but this was easy, guys. Just some paint. Um, and just a piece of board. So yeah, so we did that and we're all good. Um, I wanted to show you something. So I finished that teddy bear that I talked about last week. Um, that's a gift that's going out. And, um, oh, Janice, Janice, thank you very much. Janice, I'm Bethany, it's nice to meet you. And thank you again for the inspo, really appreciate it. Um, 
So I finished that teddy bear that I showed you guys last week. That's a gift that's going out for a baby, a new baby coming. And then um, the other night I made, and I haven't quite finished yet because I don't know how I want to finish it, but I transformed a little summer thing I got from Walmart for like a buck fifty in the clearance section um, and painted it some fun Halloweenish colors. Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite Halloween movies. Um, so the difference between me and my husband, he likes scary Halloween, I like Disney Halloween. Um, <laughs> so... Um, I made this and it just says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Um, and I actually, so I have the Cricut Joy, so I can't make big things like this because uh, the limit is like four and a half inches one way diameter. So, um, I actually created this myself. Um, and I just kind of put it together and then I, when it printed, it printed in different pieces and I just lined it up when I transferred it. So it's super simple. Um, and again, guys, another just, hey, you just do your thing. You don't have to worry about what it looks like. Um, I actually did painter's tape to try to make these perfect gray and purple lines. And after I painted the purple um, and I took it off, the paint came up with the painter's tape and the primer that I had put down. Um, I had dried it. I don't know what happened. Me and painter's tape don't mix. But anyway, so it came up. So I kind of had to freehand them. And I mean, guys, look, they're a mess. They're, they're messy. And they're, but I went, guys, it's a Halloween project. It should look kind of a little bit disheveled and a little bit rustic and a little bit homemade. Um, so I went with it and I thought it looked kind of cool and then I dry brushed some black, some black on it. Um, but so what I have left is these, this little wood bead hanger, which I kind of got some black on while I was doing it. So I haven't decided what I want to do with them yet. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts. I was thinking maybe painting them orange to add that or I could just paint them black or I could just remove it and do, um, I don't know, a different kind of hanger, ribbon, um, I'm not sure. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. Perfection is overrated. Ain't that the truth, right? Um, I am a little bit of OCD, but this is crafting. We're supposed to have fun. This is an outlet for us. Um, so you just have to enjoy yourself. And if you're not, then you shouldn't be doing it, right? Um, I love Hocus Pocus, one of my favorite movies too. Orange would be a, yeah, I thought orange might be nice just to add a little something to it. Um, Cause I kind of wanted to put orange somewhere here, but I didn't, right know where so um i think that might be fun but anyway so i just wanted to show you guys this almost done with this um but yeah so i'm trying to think what else have i got to share um i'm gonna be making a gift and a gift a housewarming gift um it's gonna be a kind of a piece of wood like this ish um a hanging piece that i got and i'm doing um home but I, the um o is going to be mickey um, because they love Disney, this new homeowner. So we're going to be doing that. Um, I have a couple of crochet orders that I have to get to. I am also getting to an order that someone asked for. Actually, um, my Mrs. T brush that I use. Mrs. T is my aunt's mother who passed a few months ago. Um, she has some really awesome t-shirts. She was a wonderful woman who donated so much of her time um, to some fantastic charities. And so um, we're going to make some t-shirt pillows. Um, out of all the different places she used to um, she used to volunteer at. So that's something I'm going to start working on too. So we have a lot of orders, a lot of things going on. Really excited. I want to keep trying to do, I like wood crafting. That's a lot of fun. Um, but people, are, it's getting to be those colder months. So people are ordering crochet. This is when crochet happens. And summer is when more of the wood crafting projects happen. Um, it just kind of is the nature of it. But um, but I'm going to be doing some more pumpkin things because all things pumpkin are everything I love right now. Um, if you have any ideas or anything that you need, please send me a message. Comment on this or send me a message. If you're friends with me on Facebook, feel free to send me a message on my personal page. Totally fine. Um, I'll probably go live again next Sunday night. That will be the plan. Um, and yeah, because I think we're going to just keep doing a little craft along on Sunday nights. But anyway, so guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, again, our final project, and thank you again, Janice, from um, Creating Through Chaos. Go ahead and go check out her page, um, who gave us the inspiration for this kind of just everyday fall item that you can make yourself, no experience needed. Um, so again, guys, have a great Labor Day. I hope most of you have it off tomorrow, so enjoy, um, and have a great week, and I will see you next week, and always remember to count your stitches. Bye, guys.